everybody, it's me, Jermaine, and I'm back with another Simple Truth Update. And, um, boy, it's a hot one today here in Columbus, Ohio. Topping out at about 89 degrees if you add the humidity into it. But that's good weather to get something done, get some work done. And that's just what I'm about to go do. But today... I wanna, I wanna share with you. I wanna entitle today's morning. Uh, uh, almost said morning thought. This is the simple truth update. But today's simple truth update is going to be entitled the the easy life. The easy life. See this wicked world that we live in teaches a way of thinking that is totally contrary to anything that our forefathers whether it be this country or or even the forefathers of the of the word of the bible of the scriptures i'm sorry of the torah it doesn't teach us that we should work hard see it used to be a time when the mindset was that you should go to school get a good education, a perceived good education, and then if you were apt enough to go to another level of education, you take that and go to a further increased level of education, but ultimately you were to become educated, or as many of us know now, become indoctrinated, and then you go out and you find you a job you commit to that job, you stay on that job for 25, 30, sometimes even 40 years. And we definitely know that those days are past. But then you would get married, have some children, get the house with the white picket fence and the dog and everything was everything. That was what was considered the American dream. I live in America. That's the only thing that I've ever been taught as far as how a culture is raised to think from the time they become of school age until you become an adult and then eventually retire and so forth and so on. But see, that easy life is, is really... A falsehood it's a facade and if you don't know what a facade is if you've ever been to a movie set they'll you know you see what looks like to be brown stones or buildings in a, in a major city and then behind it it's nothing but you know two by fours and you know so forth and so on it doesn't look like the same thing as the front side of it on the back side and so when I say about this easy life, this perceived easy life, no one seems to, in, at least in the generation that we're living now, no one seems to want to go and do any job or any type of work where you get some sort of calluses on your hands. That is seems to be beneath people. They don't want to do anything that requires any form of sweating. You know, today's day and age, you know, you get somebody that might help you to on a project and you get to working on the project and, and, and you get a portion of the project completed. And then the next thing you know, you know, the person or persons that are helping you, they're, they're going to get a shower because they, they definitely got to get that sweat. And and and, and as I, I like to say, they have to get that work off of them. Oh, I can't have too much work on me. <laughs> but it's just amazing how it used to be a time in this country where people worked hard every day and they were proud of the fact that they worked hard. Now everyone is doing any and everything they possibly can to garner as much income as they can and do so 
so that they can do more of the fun things. And I'm not I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with wanting to do some, you know, some enjoyable things. But there, you know, the Bible even says there's a time and a season for everything under the sun. Everything. There's a time and a season for everything. But when you want to make that fun time a way of life and there is no work being put forth it just amazes me it, 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 it really amazes me that we have become so high minded that we don't even think that being, you know, working hard and doing anything that, that, that requires any type of blood or sweat or even tears when you're doing it, that's, that, that's, almost, a, that, that's almost taboo nowadays. It, 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 it really has gotten to the point where it's almost like cursing at someone. If you tell them that you want them to do a job that requires them to exert their self. There, there's a good word. But yet, they'll pay for a gym membership and go and exert themselves for personal gain and for outward adornment and how they look. Again, I'm not saying there's nothing wrong with putting in some work at the gym but that shouldn't be the hardest work that you do in a day. Now, I am in by no means, you know, a, a steel worker or a, you know, railroad worker or a farmer. But I do what I can do to put my hands to something. And when the day is over, I've earned the opportunity to be and go to go and clean myself up because I've done something worthy of utilizing that water and that soap to be able to get myself back to a, a clean state. So the simple truth of the whole matter is, is the easy life that this wicked world talks about is the easy life really something that as a man especially as a man now you see my previous videos about men versus males I'm talking to the men can you truly within yourself be comfortable with really doing nothing that is worthwhile or nothing that is something that is built something. And what I mean by built something, it can be physically building something, character building, or even spiritually building. I, I guess I'm trying to say that I, I just don't, I don't think I want that easy life. I think um, there used to be an old rap song, and, and somewhere in that rap song it said, if it, if it ain't rough, it ain't right. <laughs> well, this has been the simple truth. And as I always tell you, it's the simple things that are oftentimes the most profound, but yet they're the most difficult to put into practice and to actually do. I want to thank you for joining me and I'll be sure to see you, you, and you again real soon on another episode.